on guys, Jesse here. So these are the UE drops and they are Ultimate Ears' attempt at bringing their custom made ear tips to the masses at a more affordable, but albeit still very premium price point. So if you guys haven't heard of UE before, they basically got two divisions going on. Their consumer stuff, which is mainly known for their boom line of speakers, which is more recently expanding into the wireless earbud segment. But then on the other hand, we've got their pro stuff. And when I say pro, I don't mean like iPhone 14 pro pro, but I mean like true professionals in the music industries with custom made in-ear monitors that run into the thousands of dollars. And up until now, these two divisions have been pretty separate and you could even be forgiven for thinking that these aren't even the same company. In fact, they have two different websites for these two different divisions, which I thought was pretty interesting. So why am I bringing all this up? Well, now with the UE drops, we're starting to see that distance between the two divisions of Ultimate Ears come a little bit closer. Now we have seen sort of custom fit earbuds before from Ultimate Ears on the consumer side with the UE fits, and I actually I do have a video on those already if you want to go check that out, link in the description. But these are just on a totally different level. So when you order these guys from UE for the retail price of $450, I know. You'll first get a package with a fit kit, which will prompt you to download an app and follow the directions to get a proper fit. I was actually a little bit worried about this step, but it turned out to be pretty easy and they made it a pretty foolproof process. And once you're done with that, you just pack it up, ship it with the included prepaid shipping label, and then wait. For me, it took about seven weeks, which was a little bit longer than I was expecting, but the time frame may be different when you order yours. One cool thing though, is that Ultimate Ears will keep your ear mold in their system for five years. So if you want to get another custom fit product from them within five years, you can actually skip this step and then just get your product right away. But the main reason it takes so long is because each one of these ear tips is custom made by hand. So after all that, the fit on these better be really good, right? And after using these for a couple of weeks, my answer to that is both yes and no. Yes, because these are truly the most one-to-one -one form-fitting earbuds that I've ever tried, and they truly do give an incredible seal when you put them in your ears. But also no, because even though they do have a great one-to-one -one fit, because the material that they use for the ear tips is rigid, anytime I move my facial muscles, whether it be from talking or making facial expressions, the fit ends up loosening up a little bit and I lose that really good seal. And this was especially an issue for me when I tried to take these to the gym. They wouldn't fall out and they're actually very secure in the sense that they stay in your ears, but every time I needed to like clench my jaws for lifting heavy weights or needed a big gulp of air for something, the seal ended up breaking and of course that resulted in a dramatic drop in audio quality and just an overall pretty poor experience. I also tried these in a more sedentary setting just sitting at my desk doing work and the experience was a little bit better but I was still running into the same issues for every time I yawned or smiled or ate snacks or something like that. And I was also having an issue with this cutout where the charging contacts are just being too sharp around the edges and causing a lot of irritation in my ears. So overall, I was pretty disappointed on the fit with these guys, but I will say if you have issues with earbuds completely falling out of your ear sometimes, you've got nothing to worry about with these because once they're in your ear, even if the seal does break, they're not going anywhere. But having these strangely shaped custom fit earbuds does come with a certain set of quirks. The first one being a lack of active noise cancellation. And I guess the idea behind that decision to leave it out was that UE was so confident in the seal of these earbuds that they decided ANC just wasn't necessary. Now, I don't agree with this choice because even though yes, the seal on these is better than every other earbud out there, when you compare these to any other pair of active noise canceling headphones, it's just night and day. Like the level of isolation that you get between these and a good pair of ANC headphones is, it's not even comparable. And I think the especially frustrating thing about that is that these still have transparency mode, which correct me if I'm wrong, means also that these should be capable of ANC, but they just decided to leave it out because they could. And the second quirk is just that these earbuds are huge, and I'll include a shot of these next to the AirPods Pro for comparison, but because they're huge, the case is also 
equally huge. Like this is seriously one of the biggest cases I've seen in a while for a pair of earbuds and it just makes it a really big hassle to transport. So I end up just not taking them with me most of the time. It also just doesn't really seem to be built the best. Like there's a lot of play in this hinge and there's just a lot of like creaky, unnecessarily bad sounding sounds coming out of this case. And especially when you consider the price point, I just expect a lot more. It does have Qi wireless charging though, which isn't a given nowadays, looking at you Bose. Battery life is also pretty good with eight hours in the buzz, which is more than enough for I think most people. And you get an extra 14 hours in the case with a five minute charge giving you an hour of playtime. One thing I did notice though, was that it's actually possible to close the case without the earbuds being in their proper position. So just make sure when you close the case, you see all the LEDs light up and that means they're actually charging. Now on to sound quality, I was uh, definitely a little bit disappointed by these. So it's got good bass, but that's about it. Mids and highs were exceedingly harsh and vocals just came across as pretty artificial. The high end, especially at louder volumes was really unpleasant to listen to and for me at higher volumes made it just totally unlistenable. Now you can go into the EQ and change between a couple of different presets and I usually don't like bass boost in pretty much any headphone but I turned it on for these because I think it toned down those mids and highs a little bit to a point where it was bearable. But to be honest, I really was not a fan of the way that these sounded. All right, and now last but not least, let's do a quick little mic test so you guys know what these sound like. Okay, so the audio you're hearing now is coming from the mics on the UE Drops, and yeah, this is what they sound like. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do they sound good, bad, just okay? Okay, so man, I really wanted to like these. Comfort with earbuds has always been an issue with me. Right now, I think my go-tos are the AirPods Pro. And even with those, they start to hurt after like one to two hours. But after trying these, I just really don't think they're for me either. For the price especially, I would just expect a lot more out of these performance and features wise. Like you can tell that a large portion of that $450 price tag is going towards that custom fitment process and everything behind that rather than the drivers and everything else behind the earbud. Which would be fine, but for me, even that part didn't really work out. So overall, these aren't for me, but I think if you're somebody who has had a lot of trouble finding fit in earbuds in the past, then these are probably worth a shot because they do have a return policy. So you can always try it out. And if you don't like them, send them back. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys got a pair and how they worked out for you. Cause honestly, I was really surprised about how much I didn't like these. And I'm thinking it might just be a personal problem. So hearing your guys' experience would help me figure that out. But yeah, like it if you liked it, sub if you loved it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.